I really am hesitating to make this video because I am going to dive in deeper. There is another layer that I have to acknowledge in myself, another shadow. And it's going to look dark. It's going to look satanic, as Christians would label it. It's going to look rebellious, as Christians would label it. But I have to go there. I could just suppress it. Don't bother making a video and just let it pass by. But conscious authenticity is demanding that this stage in shadow work is publicly shown. I have to show it to exemplify courage to others who may be confronted by this shadow, by their shadow. And I'm going to spell it out without suppressing it under my former belief system that forbade me to feel this way, forbade me to express this and required me to suppress it to deny my own soul. Well, I can't deny my own soul. My own soul is feeling really pissed off today. I'm feeling insulted by the Christian rhetoric and their threats with hell because I refuse to come under the Lordship of Jesus. It's an insult to my soul and I'm pissed off at the, I don't even, don't even know what to call it. My soul is reclaiming her dignity. I am not going under any lordship other than my own sovereign divine soul essence. And I don't want to hear anything about Jesus or Buddha or what have you. I'm so up to here with all of these religious belief systems. In my experience, you don't need any of that to be a decent person, to be a conscious human being, to be a conscious soul. In fact, those distractions keep you from ever finding your authentic soul essence. You're always bowing to someone else. You're always soul abandoning by submitting to some entity that you have learned from Christianity that has become a spirit reality because your psyche has created it. Your psyche has created a need for it. You're not a better person because you have submitted yourself to the Lordship of Jesus. In fact, Christians are so subpar, they're so judgmental, they have no affirming power for any human being. Uh, they despise human beings, and particularly those who do not adopt their religious belief in the Lordship of Jesus. You're despising 
humanity. And I'm, I'm honestly sick and tired of it. It's an insult to my divinity. It's an insult to my soul. So yeah, um, you know, some days I am at the point where, you know, I don't have any beliefs left. I don't have anything that I can run into to find security for my mental state. And the worst thing is when I uh, cave into this playing small, um, the mind is a fragile thing and it has so many layers. Um, and you need to confront, you need to confront these feelings of, uh, I don't want a Lord in my life, right? Yeah, Christians, go ahead, call me Lucifer. I don't care. I'm, I'm sick and tired of your threats and your condemnation with hell. Your whole Christian theology doesn't make any sense. A God that created this world set humanity up to fail and then blame humanity for sinning. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> it's idiotic, to, if you ask me. I, I challenge you to uh, become conscious, start thinking rationally. I know the Bible has kind of turned off that rational thinking part of the brain with scripture verses like, trust in the Lord with all your heart and don't lean unto your own understanding. Jesus, yeah, Jesus. I'm not calling on Jesus. I'm, I'm quite, quite disgusted with that. No, that's not, that's not a belief worth having. It doesn't make sense. You know, the rational mind is not to be vilified or denied. Everything has to be honored and acknowledged. The soul, the mind, the emotions, the heart. It's, it's about dignity. Can you see the dignity in humanity? Or do you have a moat in your eyeball that renders you incapable of affirming love? Unconditional love. Meaning, can you feel some compassion for a human being and not have to have a, com uh, a, a condition of what they have to believe or how they have to conduct themselves? Can you just see the human being? Can you just see that life through compassionate eyes and not judge it? through the lens by which you judge yourself. <sighs> yeah. Christians, you're doing it to me every time. You're insulting to humanity. You're insulting to the soul. Signing off. <laughs>